Oh, a friend of mine asked me to show how to do a um, delayed sweep and use a delaying sweep on uh, a lot of the Tektronix oscilloscopes. So here's a quick example using two different scopes. Uh, starting off with, I've got two signals coming into the scope down here. One is a, uh, a gating signal, which is just the square wave you see below. And then the other is kind of the, an RF signal, or I should say a sine wave, that's being gated by that gating signal. So we can see a pretty stable waveform. But if we want to zoom in to a particular area, that's kind of what the delaying time base is for. So on this scope here, which is a, uh, an older 485, the controls are right here for the horizontal display. So right now we're just looking at the A time base, and we can adjust that and see different changes in here. But if we wanted to kind of you know, take a closer look at one of these pulses and still have this, the overall view kind of zooming in, we would use the delayed time base. So in this case, you start off by going to the intensified version. The intensified display, what that does is it highlights an area of the, of the display, and you can see that highlighted here. And what you can do is you can change that highlighted area by changing, by pulling on the horizontal uh, sweep knob and adjusting it. And you can see how we have a different highlighted area here now. And by adjusting this display control, or the delay control, we can delay and look at a, a given portion of that waveform. So we can increase the, the sweep speed of, of the B time base, okay, and narrow up that intensified portion. And as you go to the intensified portion here, we can actually see that intensified. Now what we can do is we can go from the intensifi intensified display to what we call the an alternate. What the alternate will do is we'll alternate between sweeping the A sweep, which is what we see up here, and just sweeping the area that we see intensified. So if I hit the Alt button, we now can see two more traces show up. There's a, a trace separation knob here, and if we adjust that, you can see it just adjusts the, the traces. So really what we've got here now is this intensified portion that you see on the A sweep is now being shown down here, expanded out horizontally. Okay, so if I change that time base again, we can see if I make that narrower or wider, we can actually see the wider area or the narrow area being intensified in. And now you can adjust the delay and look at that waveform in a different portion. For example, if you want to see, I can actually see the sine wave that is in that burst up there. Okay, and as we drop it down, we can actually see the falling edge of the gating pulse and the sine wave being cut off. Okay, right there at the end of that. We kind of zoom out a little bit, we can see that a little bit better. So I can delay over to the next pulse as I work my way across, and I can see that next one kind of popping up there, and you can see it. Okay. Now also there's a way, what this is doing, the, the B time base, if we look at the B triggering controls up here, the B is set in the uppermost position here, which is, says run, or B runs after delay time. So after we adjust the delay time right here, the B sweep is just running and that's what we see. It's also possible to tell B to be triggerable, so it can be triggered after uh, the delay time. And what we'll see as we scoot across here, you see how it's jumping? Because that's jumping to the next triggered event, because I'm triggering on the burst itself. So you can actually see how the delay is now jumping, because it's going to delay a certain period of time, and it's waiting for a trigger. So it can cause you to have a more stable event. If I keep delaying, it's going to delay across here now, and then, boom, jump to the next pulse. So that's kind of what the delaying time base is on this uh, 485 oscilloscope.